Good morning, boys and girls. I hope you're having a great week. For today's video, we're going to do some Bible stories. So, I know my four and five-year-old friends with the big name tags, you have your Bible story books at home, and my little lambs, you'll get yours next year. But I brought my Bible story book home so I could show you some of our stories. I wanted to very quickly review our last Bible story that we did at school. And this one is about when Jesus is riding into Jerusalem for Palm Sunday, which is actually this coming Sunday. And we remember that the people were waving branches and singing praises of Hosanna and Hallelujah because they were so happy that Jesus was coming. Now this is the start of what we call Holy Week. And Jesus knew that pretty soon it was going to be time for him to die on the cross. But it's not all bad news. So for today's story... We are going to learn about a day, which is next week, called Maundy Thursday. And this story, Kira's coming to join us again, but I'm going to move her out of the way so you can see the story. It's actually her birthday today. She's 15 years old. All right. So on Maundy Thursday, Jesus and his friends walked along a dusty road. And they didn't have cool tennis shoes like you guys do today. They mostly wore sandals or were barefoot. So they're... Come on, girl. So their feet got really dirty, and when they got to people's houses, they would often wash their feet. Now, when they got to the house, Jesus got a pan of water and began to wash his disciples' feet, but they were very surprised and confused. They didn't think that Jesus should be doing this for them. They thought they should be washing his feet instead. When Jesus was done, he asked them, Do you know why I washed your feet? And when they shook their heads, he said, I did it because I love you. If you love me, you will do kind things for one another too. No one is more important than Jesus, but he wasn't too proud. He was happy to help others. We can learn from Jesus to be kind to others too. So after the Passover meal, Jesus did a really amazing thing. He gave his friends a special meal of bread and wine. We usually call this the Lord's Supper or communion when we're at church. And he said, this is my body, this is my blood. Jesus knew he would soon be dying on the cross and he would give up his body and blood to take away all of our sins. We celebrate this meal in church often to receive these blessings from Jesus. And you can do that at church when you're a little bit older. I'm going to show you the other side of this picture where it shows Jesus coming to do that special kind thing for others, for his friends, the disciples. Now, we probably wouldn't be washing each other's feet because we have shoes that we wear outside now. But I want you to try to think of some other kind things that you can do for others, that you can do for your family while you're at home for this time, or what you can do for your neighbors or friends another time when you get to see each other again. So I want you to think of some of those kind things that you can do because Jesus wanted to teach us love and kindness. I wanted to sing our Bible story song with you and some of you maybe already have seen this paper because I did send it home with you. And you already know this song because it's called Love, 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 and we sang it for Valentine's Day. So I want you to sing it with me now. Love, 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 that's what it's all about. Because God loves us, we love each other. Father, mother, sister, brother, everybody sing and shout. Because that's what it's all about. It's about love, love, love. It's about love, love, love. And I always have one more paper to go with your Bible stories. And this is the paper that goes with this Bible story. And I sent this home with all of you too. So also, while you're thinking of kind things that you can do for others, this says sharing the love of Jesus. And this reminds you of our story. It shows us a picture of a Bible because this is where we get all our Bible stories, the Word of God. It shows us hands and feet to remind us what Jesus did and how we can serve others too. It shows us a picture of Jesus to remind us of his love, a heart, and a cross because we know that he loves us so much he's going to die on the cross, and a picture of a boy and a girl to remind you that you can be kind to others too, even if you're not a grown-up. So if you haven't colored this yet, you can color this at home today too after hearing this Bible story. 
I'll do another video tomorrow so we can hear the next story in Holy Week. So I will see you then.